Hola. So what I want to talk about right now is that whole thing that happens after you've finished some really super, super inspiring event or conference or workshop or something that brings up all this inspiration and ideas and creative energy in your life and you're about to go home and you're like, I'm going to do all this stuff. I'm going to take this from point A to point Z and you're super pumped and then you get home and you swear you're going to change and you swear you're going to have all these new uh, techniques in place to get shit done and you get home and you're like, what the crap? How am I supposed to actually do this? And you fall back into the same patterns of overanalyzing, thinking about stuff, not actually taking action. Please don't tell me I'm the only person that does this. Um, there is something so amazing about these high energy events. For example, I just got back from the World Domination Summit in Portland, Oregon, which is like the most incredible combination and collection and bringing together of creative, entrepreneurial, uh, badass world shakers and I love it and I always leave there first of all with my entire world shaken like everything I go in there thinking about my life and work I just I halfway through I'm just like someone asked me what do you do I'm like blah, blah, blah. like I have nothing because it makes me question everything that I've been doing and kind of want to start from a completely new foundation I don't know if that's a good thing or not but the point is as the weekend goes on um there's a lot of inspiration and ideas and um, and motivation to create new things and to, or to finish creating what's been going on. I know a lot of us at WDS feel this, um, and that's why there's a lot of meetups and workshops about how to take action after. So what I want to talk about is how do you actually go from inspiration to action? Um, it doesn't have to be after an event like mine was. You might just have a lot of inspiration and feel like supercharged up to do something, but then you might see that that kind of, ooh, and then you forget about it. You know, you have all this motivation one day for something, and how is it possible that the next day or two days later, it's like kind of forgotten about? Um, it's because we have to actually take these ideas and do something with them. And there's several things that I do to make sure that that happens. Um, first of all, I break, you know, I recommend breaking this, breaking these ideas down into smaller chunks. So while it might be super inspiring to think about you know, my gosh, I'm going to write my book. I have this idea for a book. I'm going to get it done. Um, that's a really great idea. But how is that actually going to happen? It's not going to happen. You're not going to sit down one day and write your book. Like You're going to sit down one day and you're going to write the outline, right? That's going to be one day. It's not going to be sexy. It's not going to be this amazing to do and no one's going to know about it. But you're going to write the outline. And then you're going to sit down the next day and you're going to write 500 words, right? Or you're going to write 1,000 words. And you're going to sit down every day for three months or six months or however long it takes. And you're going to do that. And like I said, it's not, you know, it's not glamorous, it's not fancy, but um, you have to break down your inspiration into the small steps, and that's when inspiration just becomes sweat and work. Like, it's not always fun, it's not always that, you don't always wake up with that great energy, you know, like, oh, it's brand new, it's so flashy. If you want to get it done, it has, it has to be broken down. Um, one thing at a time, single-pointed focus. It's so easy to get caught up in the big vision of an inspiration, and easy to lose track of the small steps that actually bring that to life. Um, the other thing I do is find an accountability partner. So tell somebody what you're going to do and have them tell you what they're going to do. And this often works well over 30-day periods. So a friend and I, after WDS, have set a 30-day challenge. So what are we going to each do for 30 days to make sure that we take our inspiration and make it tangible? Um, so for me, I've committed to creating art for 30 days. Uh, because I am an artist and that's something that needs to come out of me that I haven't been doing. Um, so this could be anything. This could be writing a blog post every day or this could be, you know, 500 words of your book. This could be committing to practice yoga or meditate every day. But when we become very inspired to become a certain kind of person or to create a thing in the world, there has to be accountability. And a lot of times it's not enough to be accountable just to ourselves. Even the greatest, most successful people in the world have accountability, they have coaches, they have people that know what they're up to. They're not doing this alone. So if you're feeling inspired and you want to take action, tell people what you're up to. Break it down into small goals. You know, just mark the steps as you get it done. And another thing that I like to do is actually keep track of what I did each day. So I'm just starting this now, you know, keeping a log of 
um, or a track, I don't know if it's going to be on a poster or a journal or whatever, but like what did I, what steps did I actually take to move me forward this day? So then I can go back and see, wow, I didn't just doodle around online and do research and more research um, on what I want to create, but I actually did, took action, you know. So having these tangible items that every day you can look and see, this moved me forward, that's super motivating and you will make progress. Um, so when you're feeling inspired, break it down into small chunks, tell somebody what you're up to, hold them, have them hold you accountable and write down what you've done every day towards that goal and you will make it there and your inspiration will become a reality and, uh, just keep moving up from there. So do it. I look forward to seeing what you create.